Very nice, how much? That didn't work out like I thought it would. Thank you guys for joining me today. Big shout out to Optics Planet for sending out the Trijicon HDXRs for review. And I talked them into giving you guys a coupon code, which is 5% off. I'll put the code and the link down in the description below. I'm not affiliated with the link. It's just something that Optics Planet wanted to do for you guys if you guys wanted to jump on this and get the Trijicon HDs. About a year and a half ago, I purchased my first ever set of night sights and I picked up the standard Trijicon HDs, I, I got them with the orange front. Now they're available with orange or yellowish green. Now these sights, pretty badass. You got a nice little rear lip back here for racking it off of tables and your belt. And it's got a very nice orange dot on the front that really draws your attention to that front sight. So new for 2017, one of the biggest complaints about the standard Trijicon HDs is a lot of people were complaining about the size of the front dot, specifically the width. They're like, hey, this is great for shooting, you know, 45 feet and closer. But people started noticing once they reached beyond 45 feet, they were a lot more inaccurate. And then they were saying, hey, at closer distances, I'm having a hard time shooting smaller objects. I haven't had an issue at closer distances with smaller objects. And that was with the standard Trijicon HDs. Now granted, when I did shoot that, I did have to guess on where the shell casing was on my sight picture, you know, because the front sight post was completely eclipsing the 308 shell. Trijicon HD X XRs, which XR stands for extended range, meaning, hey, once you reach up beyond 45 feet, you're still gonna be, and I will say, we'll dive down up close here in a second, and I'll show you guys like my groupings at different distances between HDs and the HDXRs. One of the, the things about Trijicons that you're gonna have to make a decision on is do you want the yellowish green, which is like tennis ball color, or do you want the orange? The orange seemed to be more popular, but everyone's eyes are different, so. Now, if you already have Trijicon HDs and you wanna upgrade, you don't gotta buy the full set of sights. You can buy just the slimmer Trijicon HDXR front sight post and upgrade it like that, and it's like half the cost as from buying, you know, the full set of sights. So why are Trijicon HDs, like, a lot more expensive than like Ameriglow night sights. Trijicons, this orange here, is a photoluminescent paint, meaning you can charge it up with daylight, you can charge it up with an LED bulb, it's gonna glow bright orange or bright yellow, whichever color that you have. You don't have time to charge it up, there is a tritium vial right in the center that will glow 24 seven, as, as well as two tritium vials on the rear. If I heard a bump in the night, I can grab my LED light, charge it up for 30 seconds, and this charge on here will last about seven or so minutes, before you can't really see the orange anymore. And all that really does is just gives you an extra advantage on differentiating the front sight from the rear sight. I like them so much that I have the Trijicon HD XRs on the Smith & Wesson MMP as well. And these are XRs on my Polymer 80 build right here. Love them to death though. But you do notice a difference with the sight picture. Measures approximately 145 thousandths of an inch on the standard HDs. The XRs are about 121 thousandths. Do a little side by side. HDs on the left, HD XRs on the right. You can notice that it's actually noticeably smaller. So there's the XRs, standard HDs. I don't think that cameras do it justice. Um, it's very hard to see the difference on film. On the uh, Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0, love it. And like I was saying earlier, I love this U-notch on the rear. These remain my remaining champions for everyday carry and home defense. I love that U-notch. I feel like it makes that golf ball on the front line up very nicely and just sit right down in it. So when I did these tests, I used the same type of ammunition in both tests between the HDs and the XRs. Uh, just the only thing I changed was the slide and I used the same lower receiver, same springs. That way, that would be the only variation. So at 25 feet, got a little five shot group right here. Three in the orange, two in the gray, not too shabby. At 45 feet, two here, that one kind of keyhole. Um, two here 
and then I had one flyer over here. Now at 70 feet is where, like they were saying, you really see the differences. So here's 70 feet, here's the group spread. I mean, and obviously this ain't the sights, this is my accuracy. This is all free handed at an indoor range. I wasn't shooting from a rest, so take that into account. But here we go, two here, two here, and one there. So here was my 25 yard group with the Trijicon HD XRs. Obviously it's a lot more than five rounds, but you can see I chewed out a pretty good hole. So here's the Trijicon HD XRs at 45 feet. Yeah, I shoot low left, that's my fault. Sometimes I jerk the trigger. I noticed that my groups were being pulled left and then I corrected it. And here's my 70 foot group right here. So not bad, chewed out a nice little hole in the center. So it definitely did show a huge difference at 70 feet. Now between the standard and the XRs, you get the same amount of illumination when you charge it with a flashlight for 30 seconds. I charged it with a 400 lumen flashlight for 30 seconds and they both held their charge for around seven minutes. However, you can see in the time-lapse footage that it appears like the XRs lose lumosity quicker. However, it's not that they're losing it because to the naked eye, they are the same brightness. But the difference is there's less photoluminescent paint on the front sight due to the smaller size. Therefore, this one puts out more light. Back up top. So what do you guys think of the Trijicon HD XRs? Yay or nay? Oh, that's an unnecessary upgrade. Do you not like Trijicon HDs at all? I mean, you might be the kind of person that loves the TFX Pros. You might be the kind of person that likes the excess sights. Doesn't matter. What is the best to me won't be the best to you, but to, in my humble opinion, these work best for me for home defense and everyday carry. I've never met someone in person that dislikes the Trijicon HDs. I have met people on the internet who say they don't like them, but I have no proof of whether they've actually used them or if they're just keyboard warriors. I've taken lots of people shooting to the range with these and every time, like if there's no red dot on the gun, obviously everybody wants to shoot the red dot guns, but if there's no red dot, everyone seems to love the Trijicon HDs. They're just the easiest for beginners. They're the easiest for, you know, intermediate expert. They're just quick sights that you can pick up with your eyes. It draws your attention to that front sight and you get shots on target. I mean, there's no need to really overcomplicate things. Here's my main criticism with the Trijicon HDs. They don't make suppressor height sights. Don't get me wrong, Trijicon makes suppressor height sights, but they don't have the orange or the yellow uh, front sight. I really wish that they would do that. If you're watching Trijicon, could you please make some Trijicon HD suppressor height sights and don't make them cost more than the standard ones? That would be super. So that's it for my review. Like the only con that I really have is they're a little bit on the more expensive side and they don't make suppressor height sights in the HD format. Let me know down in the comments section below what your favorite set of night sights are. Whether, I don't care what it is, I just like having good open conversations with you guys and, and I love the vibe that we have here with Tactical Toolbox. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything down below in the comments as well. I love talking with you guys. But until next time, I love you. You guys be safe and stay sexy.